What's up guys, Ankle Spankin' here, and today we are playing the new Korean Kaisa build. Now this build has actually been a lot of fun, and it's kind of the adaptation of, um, you know, the meta shifting. Because Kaisa was really good for a little while due to the fact that her AP build was really a hard counter to bruisers, right? Like the whole, what is going on here? The whole bruiser build though. That everybody was doing bot where they would take the tank. Your melee champions bottom. Kaisa just shred them with her AP build. But now it's normalizing out a little bit more and we're getting back to normal picks. So this Kaisa build is way more potent. And I am here to show it to you guys. So let's get it. The basic idea is we're going Storm Razor. And there you go. That's all the knowledge you need. <laughs> so that is that. And actually, I'm going to level with you guys 100% here. I don't actually know if it's a Korean build. I'm just going to say it is because I say things are Korean build and then you guys correct me and it's fantastic. And then I learn and we all learn and everybody's happy. So far so good. We are laning pretty well against the Ezreal uh, and the, ooh, that stun hit. He's going for it. Flash? Oh, I could have actually flashed on that myself. Fuck, dude. I'm not used to the teleport. I should have flashed on that. That's my bad. That is 100% my bad. Oh well. Oh well. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Pretty soon here I can actually just go for a kill off on him anyways. Especially if I uh, land this. And whoop. Gotcha, bitch! Easy kill. Get that solo gold for the first blood. And there it is. So we can actually freeze this right here as much as we can. Because... Uh, He's actually doing a really good job of being really upfront right now, keeping Ezreal completely out of experience range. But Ezreal's really good at being in a frozen situation like that, because if you try and hold him in one, then he just throws Qs at you and tries to poke you out anyways, and then he gets money from Klepto. So, regardless, still good. Making him miss minions here. And we are in such a good spot. So I actually do still have heal. Um, so I want to get one more wave. I want to get one more wave. Because I'm so close to my BF sword that I really just want to get one more. Because this Ezreal doesn't have uh, heal, and we see their jungler in mid right now. We don't need to be super worried of anything. We just need to keep an eye on where uh, what's-her-face is going to go. So, whoa. Oh, I still have heal. Don't forget, compadre. So not bad. Not bad. We'll take that. And we can actually go back here. We can actually go back here. So I'll just drop one ward in this bush. I guess. I guess Evelyn could be trying to come towards me, but she wouldn't give. She wouldn't have vision in this bush, so wouldn't matter. <laughs> wouldn't matter. But let's do this. Grab that. Grab a control ward, my man. And e back to lane here. Use that movement speed. And Ezreal, of course, as soon as he clears this wave, he's gonna back and then teleport himself. But the wave is in such a good spot for me right now because there's going to be two waves uh, crashing into my side right now. And he's not going to be able to push them out fast enough to the point where it's going to really hurt me. He might be able to get under the turret with the help of Zillion if Zillion bombs these back waves. But since I have a BF sword, oh dude, this is so good. I'm going to get here in time for everything. So we'll just wait for this to get under the turret. We'll just wait for this because we're not going to be able to... Um, stop his back or anything. If I do, I just sacrifice so many minions. It's going to be way better for me. I'm going to miss that one. But it's going to be way better for me to just get as many of these as possible. I might miss this one. Oh no! Oh no. Since he autoed that one, he was trying to help me there so we could get it. But I, uh, <laughs> I'm very used to not doing with my support and just prepping my minions for myself on whatever champion I play. Now, I'm not actually... Whoa, what the heck? Oh, I guess Zillion... Didn't back. He went mid. <laughs> my bad. That's my fault, buddy. I actually really thought he would have gone back with Ezreal. So. Totally my bad. I should have pinged it. I should have pinged it. So I'll throw this in there. I'm going to miss this minion. So. He will run up there and clear the ward now. So I can keep on getting the minions. Avoid Ezreal cues. And we are super far ahead in this lane right now. 20 CS up, which will end up only being like 10 or so, but like after this wave. But we need to be careful for the LeBlanc roams. And I can actually get this. I can get this. Okay, cool. 
He's going up a little far, isn't he? What? That hit me? Bummer, dude. You guys might notice it right there, too, that I am actually taking Resolve in my secondary tree. That is actually becoming common uh, for a lot of AD carries right now because of the fact that you just get so much use out of that bone plating, usually. And the extra health, as well as... Um... What? I didn't even click left. Like, I accidentally didn't click left to dodge it. But the extra health from Resolve and Chrysalis are both super nice. Super nice. I'm going to drop the heal here just to make sure he's somewhat okay. Stand in front of him here. That way I can be extra sure that he does not get as real cute. I'll just run with this guy. That's two kills, 100%. Easy peasy. Double kill for me. And <laughs> I think Brand killed himself by running up there, but it's all good. So Ezreal teleported back last time he backed, so I actually do have a chance to try and push this out before he gets here. Uh, giving me a better opportunity to back up myself. And so far, the things you can take out of this build are the fact that you can see how much more potent this build is early. Because usually, Kai'Sa builds Ginsu's first, right? Like, up until now, she's been building Ginsu's first, which is fine, but... It's so much weaker early than Stormraiser. So this full build is Stormraiser, Ginsu's, crit item, and then you go for uh, usually Infinity Edge, or you go for, uh, what's it called? What is he doing right here? Level six, if LeBlanc comes, I can get there in this time, I'm on my way. She has no mana, she has no mana. This is actually really good. We can try and do this for sure. Um, I can't really help much here. <sighs> if Evelyn wasn't there, I would say we could do it for sure. But since Evelyn was there, that made it four people. Damn. That still hit me. What a bummer. What a bummer. So, Ooh, I can't get that one. Bummer. Really? Damn, dude. I'm so surprised that hit me. So they might actually try and dive me here, but with my flash and my, um... Oh, fuck. <laughs> with my flash and my uh, ult up, though, I should be okay. Oh my god. Fuck Zillion. So obnoxious. So obnoxious. Oh well. Oh well. We're getting really... Oh, we have the Storm Razor. Perfect. So I actually want to back pretty soon. I would very much like to. Right here. And is this a siege wave? It is not, but I don't really care. I don't really care that much. Um, just because I really don't want to run the risk of getting dove. Like, I am very low. And I can afford the storm razor. So, I'm actually willing to miss a wave here. Because I don't have a lot of information on where Evelyn is right now. I only see LeBlanc messing with the Hecarim here. And they can dive bottom really hard with uh, Zillion's ult, so. Hesitant to do it. Move out of the way of that ultimate. Don't take free damage. And here we come. So still 12 CS up. I've got kills up on him. And he gets that stun. Oh, I am so close. Oh, it's gonna hit the minion. No! If I path more to the right side of the, or the lane as I was running back and then got that W off, I definitely would have been able to ult in and go for something. Definitely would have been able to. Thought he trolled me on that minion there. So. The reason, by the way, that you usually don't take teleport bot lane anymore, if you guys don't know this, is because they did nerf teleport's cooldown. It's a six minute cooldown now instead of five, making it much harder to uh, really effectively utilize. She'll actually get the kill, though. We can still probably do this, though. All right? Oh, hello. 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 Goodbye. And woo. What's up, bitch? Whoop. Double kill. Easy pickings. So we get two kills there for sure. And maybe we can actually work on getting this tower. Because if we can get this full tower, that would be amazing. But roaming is key, boys. A lot of people really underestimate how powerful roaming is 
even as an AD carry. As long as you roam at the right times, it's all good, dude. It's all good. Don't auto attack me. Stop that. Stop it. <laughs> Quit it. All right, that's going to kill all the minions there. So Ryze actually went bottom, which is totally fine. It's actually the right thing to do if he doesn't want to try and actually take the turret. Because by him going bottom, that just stops Ezreal from being able to push it while we are not there. But now, we can go ahead and leave again. I've got another 1,800 gold. This is good. So, let's see. What should I get on this back? I'm not level 9, so I can't switch my trinket. We definitely want to go for Gin... Yeah, we'll just go Ginsu's components. Because even though boots are really nice, getting the pickaxe after Stormraiser is actually enough AD to evolve your Q. Now, this is a side note that a lot of people kind of overlook. One of the other reasons, not only was the meta more favored towards it, but the other reason that you would actually go the AP build is because the Q evolution got nerfed. Kaisa's Q used to actually give you... He's going back bottom, so I'm running back mid, by the way. But Kaisa's Q, when you evolved it, used to make you launch 12 missiles out of your Q instead of 6. Now, when you evolve it, it launches 10, which is a pretty substantial reduction in damage. But it's not enough that it's going to be an issue. Let's see, drop the alt here. Let's actually run onto this guy. So maybe I can get him. So let's do it. And boop, boop. Oh, God. Four mid, man. Four mid. Well, this should be... Ooh, he's cleaning it up. Get him. Oh, come on. This is your time to get that quad. Show me that fatty quad. Boom. And... That's what I like to see, baby. Good job, Hecarim. So, unfortunately, I go down for that by diving in too far. But Hecarim comes swooping in. He is back in the game in an instant. Snap of the finger. He's back in it, dude. This boy is huge. Oh, I even switched my trinket out of habit. Nice. <laughs> I didn't even think about it, and I just kind of did it. But that is so good. He is soloing that dragon. We don't even need to help him there. Is that Ezreal? Yeah, that's Ezreal's teleport. So Ezreal teleport down bottom. And you know it's Ezreal because you can see your god on the map. So, easy peasy. But Ryze went back mid. We go back bottom now. Zillion is still mid, and Evelyn is actually mid too because we just saw her use her charm on our mid laner. So, we know that for sure. Let's go ahead and see here. We know Evelyn's probably down here. Yeah, Evelyn's right there. So I don't want to go too hard on these guys. Not with um, Zillion being Zillion. There she is. There she is. And Alright, this should be one kill. And fucking quick canceling the auto. Holy shit, me. Fuck. If I actually didn't cancel the auto attack on Evelyn there, I would have killed her. I would have killed her, because my auto attack was ready to crit from Stormraiser, but then I canceled it and messed up and hit Q, which was the right part, but since I didn't get the auto attack off, man, man, oh well, oh well, let's grab, yeah, we'll do this, we'll go Berserker Griefs, so this actually evolves our E already as well. Um, if you choose to go tank boots, that's actually totally fine on Kai'Sa, because then you just evolve your E after you get your crit item, which is usually going to be a Runan's Hurricane, due to the fact that Runan's applies your plasma on all the targets hit. It's not like a vein silver bolts or anything like that. So, Runan's is usually very good on Kai'Sa. The other options, of course, Phantom Dancer, very good. Rapid Fire Cannon can be good, but it's not as good on Kai'Sa, because you don't really need to utilize your range. Like, it's just unnecessary. But Fam Dancer is good because Kaisa is. She's like fundamentally a duelist AD carry, a hard diving duelist kind of. So it's really nice to have that damage reduction when you're playing on Kaisa. And we can push this turret down here down because Zillion's up top right now. So we don't really need to worry about him. Like, Ezreal's not gonna. Be a deal Get off me! <laughs> We can just do this. Like, even with his ultimate down, like, it doesn't matter. So get this tower. Easy peasy. So. 
Another cool thing, if you guys have or have not noticed it, is the fact that whenever I use my E, after I get a little attack speed, using my E gives me enough time of not attacking to actually recharge my Storm Razor. So, very potent extra use of Kaisa's kit. Yeah, we see LeBlanc coming down here, so we kind of want to be mindful of going for this fight. So, okay. Zillion just showed, so I'm not going to sit in the bush any longer. I just want to push this and leave. Uh, how close am I to the Ginsus? Uh, Ginsus. 1425, okay. So I'm going to run up here. Instead of, like, instead of trying to keep on pushing this wave, it's just like a suicide mission if you go for that. Holy moly. Holy. <laughs> oh my god. That's totally fine that he took it. Neither of us expected that damage. But, wow. I kind of want to take the blue because I'm big. Kind of. We can go for, oh, we can go for this guy. And... Oh, damn, dude. So we actually still... What the... What the heck? I've got heal form, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that right now. And... Whoop! No. Hit! Come on! Missiles! Missiles! No! No! Bitch. <sighs> I almost got her, man. Almost, almost. So close. Oh well. I can get my Ginsu's here. And we got a lot out of LeBlanc for that. She definitely has to leave anyways. So, we'll pick up the rest of this wave and leave. It was a solid try. It was a solid try. If I were really good, I actually misplayed that if you guys didn't notice it. Because I ulted too early to the LeBlanc. It was kind of a weird place where I wanted to be like, well, I don't want to lose vision of her, so I can't ult. But if I ulted the way I did, as you guys saw, she just jumped back to her W, and then she evaded me. I tried to get there in time to get her, but I couldn't flash and range the auto attack. So, totally my bad. But with bot and mid both down, the only reason I keep going mid is because they keep putting a lot of pressure on it. Ideally, I would want to actually go top, though, and get this tower down as well, and be able to apply a bunch of pressure onto the Rift Herald. But with our jungler and mid bot lane, we can't really... We can kind of contest this, actually. Maybe? I need to get there now, though, if we want to. Ooh, big ults. Big ults. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. No! No, it's so bad! God damn it. God damn it. I really wish he didn't keep on doing the Herald. Like, it's good that we got it, but if Brand was in that fight, I think that would have gone a lot better fighting-wise. So it's kind of like a yes and no situation. Either play, I think, would have been right. Like, I got caught 100%. That was my fault entirely. I'm not trying to be like, oh, this fucking Brand got me killed. Like, no, that was... That was me. <laughs> that was me being bad. Because I got caught by the zillion bombs. So. Just so just so we don't misunderstand that. That was my fault. Um, I just do think that that could have been a really good fight. If Brand had come into it. Because Brand does a lot of damage. And a lot of CC. So those are my thoughts. But that's probably just me being a bronze bitch. And wanting to kill instead of take the objective. Who knows. I'm overthinking it. Let's go for this dragon. What happened, happened. We going for the crit item next. I'm in a very, very strong place right now. So we actually want to pull this out. There we go. I mean, it's not out there. That's farther enough. Oh, man, I want that bot wave, but I'm kind of scared. Gotcha. So I could alt onto that, but that's not a good idea. <laughs> oh shit. Maybe not? What the? What the? Oh no. Oh no, boys. Oh no, boys. Alright. We almost. Oh god. Dude! Fuck, man! Ugh. I tried to have play. Wait, what the hell? Does he got this? Do they got this? There's no Zillion ult, so this is still really good. 
I'm so confused why all three of them were down there. Was I just not paying attention? Am I just blind? I feel like I've got to be just blind, right? Like, I feel like I've just got to be blind. Because I didn't see LeBlanc or Evelyn down there. Yet they both weren't. Shit, man. What a bummer. I'm throwing. I need to stop that. Because I am so strong. And when I keep killing myself like this, that's not good. That is not good. I got greedy for the wave, man. Alright, so he's probably taking red. Is he? No, it's already gone. <laughs> Rip. Rippo. Okay. No. So he's not there. Probably just backed up. Probably just backed up, got out. Whoa, he did not! <laughs> Rip. Rip. I would have helped him, but my ultimate's not up. It is not up, so I could not get there in time. I should be... I need to be careful. Because Evelyn could be around, so... Just kill that wave and back up. Since all three outers are down, there's no reason for me to really push hard. So let's just see. She did that through my ult. Really? She did that damage through my ult. Jeez. Holy fuck. Am I actually gonna have to go? Yeah. I'll have to just build MR. That's fine, it's just like, fuck. <laughs> So that's one of the cool things about this build, though, is actually it's so situational. Because the last items aren't really defined items. You can just build whatever you really need, whether it be Azonia's, because it's really good on this champion anyways, whether it be... <laughs> that was the clone, my guy. <laughs> we saw the real one go over here. But, um... Oh! Come on, man. Come on. Well, it's just so ambiguous on what you can build. But nothing matters. So, well, at least I get the kill, but... Alright, we take that. No, auto him! <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well, we still got the triple. Still made it way better than it could have been. Because originally that was a bunch of people getting caught out and picked off, but still made it not bad. So let's see, we get... Um... I should probably go... Yeah. I'm gonna go fam dance with this game. I'm gonna sell this. Get Merc Treads. Sell this, get another Ant Ray, uh, another... Whatever this thing is called. The Null Magic Mantle. So that gives me a decent hunk of MR right there. That should be, what, 50? Yeah. Because they're both 25. So that's very nice. I'm not going to take this blue. And we will go... Hex Rinker is probably going to be best this game for me. Just due to the nature of the item. So, and Maw isn't a bad item. Especially not against, like, so much magic damage burst. And this could be... I could be trying to get myself killed right now, basically, but I think I'll be okay. I think I'll be okay. The only issue with me being down here right now is Baron. So... Hopefully she goes for some more soon. You crazy, dog. You crazy, Dwag. At least I got LeBlanc, but... Ugh. Wait, did... Is she just getting 1v1'd up there? Huh. <laughs> well, let's get this Hex Drinker. Because I really need to go for the rest of my build. 
I mean, that's really good. They actually stopped him from getting that uh, inhibitor. So that's <laughs> that's good. <laughs> that's very good. That's very, very good. Me and Hecarim are huge. So as long as I play well and Hecarim plays well, it should be enough. Once Irelia gets to the point that she can at least kind of live, that should be pretty good too. So, right, Ezreal's TP. I'm going to go for this thing. And I really need my Infinity Edge right now. Because that'll double my crit chance, which really, really ups my damage potential. Uh, and it also gives me just additional true damage. Because it converts some of my crit damage into true damage, which is really good. So I think we're in a good... What are you thinking? What the... And we actually know where Evelyn is, because fun fact, if you guys don't know this, when Evelyn uses her charm like that, when it completes, there's actually a spike that pops out of it, pointing in the direction that Evelyn is coming from. So, there's your little fun fact if you didn't know that. And look how fast we do this, man. God damn. God damn. That's a Baron. Oh, dude, this is, this is so big. Oh my god, they all just... Holy shit. <laughs> I didn't need to do anything. They just corralled up and that was it. So that's not going to be game, but we get a lot off of this push. Actually, it might be, wouldn't would it? Maybe. No, there's no way this is game, but we can totally get an inhibitor. So I'm going to go ahead and just drop the heal on him just to be safe there. And I'll ult in on her. Should be right, no kill. That's definitely pretty good. <laughs> definitely pretty good. Their red is up, dragon's up. We can probably... Oh, we can't get the tower. So we just want to get this. We want to get this and dragon. Get the most objectives that you realistically can. So, top lane's already pushing. They have to clear that. Um, we get this as well. I'm going to go grab our jungle camps too. So, ping him. Because we'll let him know that we get him that. <laughs> Payback? <laughs> so he got the first one. My red buff steals this one. <laughs> Let's see. I could actually... Should I just complete the Maw? I mean, completing Maw isn't bad. It gives me more MR, 30 AD. Um, yeah, I'll just do that for now. I think I'll... Because I'm, I'm doing more than enough damage... So I don't really need to worry about the Infinity Edge as much um, if I just go Maw. Like, I've got so much survivability now because this is a, what, 350 shield? Yeah, 350 shield. Plus, it gives me more AD, Spell Vamp, and Life Steal when it's active. So we need to get up here. That's so good. That's so good that he just busted his ult on that. All right, and I'm in there. Boom. That's one. Use the W. Ooh, it's a miss. But he's dead. He's dead. Alright, and Irelia is totally fine. There's no way he she gets killed by these two before we get there. Alright, Hecarim's coming. He's going at Heka speeds. And whoop, point. Oh. Still good. Still good. This is so good. Oh no. Is she dead? No, she's fine. Ooh! Nice catch from the rise there. Nice job. Dude, really good job for everyone, honestly. Minus myself. Like, I trolled so hard this game. I had a really, really good early game, and then I messed up so bad. And then, whoop, whoop, she's dead. So kill them all. Beep, beep. Oh, my ult's in five seconds, man. Whatever. Get him, hacker him. Oh, what the heck? There's an Evelyn back there. Mailer? I need to be careful. I need to be like really careful. Herk. Eh. I'm fine. I'm fine. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> Use that ultimate to reposition and get in. I do still need to keep in mind the Evelyn. Where is she? There she is. I'm dead, right? Oh. That's what we get the maw for, bitch! <laughs> Oh, there goes the... Oh, yes. 
damn. So she, or he still goes down. We still, oh wait, no, he launches up. Come on, yes, dude. Good job. Good, good job. All right, Brand, you just got 1v1, the LeBlanc. Here it is. The stun? What a man. What a man! That's what we like to see, ladies and gentlemen. 15, 8, and 10 will be the end of this game as we come out on top. Assuming he kills the Nexus. Okay, he's trying. He's trying. Hot hands. Hot hands. Hot potato. Throw him. Come on. Come on. Come on. You got it. I believe in you. Oh, okay. Game's not over yet. <laughs> okay, now it's over. There we go. There we go. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. That's good stuff. That is good stuff. I can't wait to see the damage. I almost threw that game so hard. I am... Ugh. I cannot believe how hard I almost threw that. So many times. So many times. Regardless, we still had a good early and late game. The mid game was pretty suboptimal. <laughs> but still pans out well. Still the most damage in the game. And that is the Korean build that everybody's... That's all the craze about on this champion. So, look at match history and tell me I'm getting boosted. Well, actually, fun fact, the... Uh, LeBlanc has actually been getting carried on their team by the Evelyn, who is a Smurf. So, I mean, I'm not going to say it's boosting, but he is doing with a pretty, pretty, pretty Smurfy Smurf. But that's not my business. Not what we're here for. We got the game. We showed you guys the stuff. And now that I'm finally done hardcore inting on my account, I can probably start climbing a little bit again. <laughs> For a couple days, dude, I was just doing nothing but inting my face off. Regardless, a good game. If you guys did enjoy it or learn anything, make sure you leave a like and a comment. It really does help me out. If you want to, you can um, subscribe to the channel and ring that bell to be notified whenever I do upload a video. And as always, I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace!